Hello world, this is PC Bun Genie, and I'm bringing you a video for Outlook.com, formerly known as Hotmail.com. Um, Outlook.com has a Windows 8 user interface where the letters are clear and big and bold. Navigation is easy. Um, so here's what it looks like. Once you get to your email and create your account, starting from left to right, we're going to navigate. On the right hand side, you will see some ads. You cannot minimize or close these ads, unfortunately. Uh, here's your profile for your instant messenger and your account. You can make yourself available and visible. Add your picture for your profile, edit your profile. Then it gives you the option to add pictures, connect accounts, add information. With Outlook.com, your email will be as such. Mine is PCBungini at Outlook.com. Uh, yours could be someone at Outlook.com. And you can change it at any time, which I will also show you later. Let's go back. And you see there's a sign out where you can sign out of your account. Beside that is a gear button. These colors is where you can change the look of your bar, your navigation bar. Change it to purple. And I don't like purple, so I'm going to change it back to blue. Also, here you have your instant messenger tab where you can add your Facebook, friends, Twitter, LinkedIn. Uh, you also will be able to add a Skype and a missing messenger. Keep that open. Um, here you will see your inbox email folder. This is where all your emails will show. Um, by default, the navigation reading pane is off. You can turn it to the right. Therefore, when you click on your emails, you can see what it says you have an add to contacts tab which makes it easy to add your contacts I have actions tab where you can reply mark as unread you also have the same options up here at the top moving on to create a new email you click on new type in the email address you want to send your email to you write a subject Attach your files, change your font, type your message. You also can add a signature as well. Um, I'm going to cancel this email, but you can save it as a drive. You can do a spell check. It's a spell check complete. Um, you have options to change the text format and change the priority. I'm going to cancel it. Over here to the left, you can search emails. You can do an advanced search for email by keywords, dates, from, to, subject, and folders. Um, you have your folders, which is your inbox, junk mail, drafts, sent, to, and deleted items. You can create a new folder if you like. Um, I'm going to call it test folder so you can see how it works. Now I have a new folder called test. You can make rules and filters for email to go in that folder. You can minimize this folder. You can refresh it at any time. You can right click, empty the folder, mark all as read, delete, rename, and I make a subfolder. I'm going to delete it. We have quick views where you can view emails that have documents that have been flagged, have photos, shipping updates, and you can make new categories. Up here at the top left, you have your Outlook tab. Click on that to refresh your Outlook as well. You click the arrow, and it shows you where your mail, your people, which is your contacts, are, your calendar, and your SkyDrive.
where you would get 7 gigabytes of free online storage for documents. And that is the navigation for today. Thank you for watching. This is PC Bungini once again. Like my videos and continue to look for more. Subscribe to my channel for more tutorials, workshops, and how-tos and reviews. Thank you very much.